Well, the reaction to President Trump's historic indictment is far and wide, including political strategists right here in Sacramento. Yeah, Rachel Wolf is live at the state capitol with how many different people are responding to this news. Good morning to you. President Trump has always kept it interesting, and now it's about to get really interesting for him. He is expected in court on Tuesday, facing a myriad of charges. This political indictment over hush money reportedly paid to an adult film star taking center stage. Some calling it political theater. Trump was twice impeached by the Democratic-led House, but avoided conviction by the Senate. On the very day the indictment was handed down, Governor Gavin Newsom launched this new ad in the Washington Post and a political action committee aimed at boosting Democrat numbers in Republican states. Democratic strategist Steve Maviglio says Newsom is likely looking to the national stage for a future White House. House run and having Trump back in the headlines helps Newsom as well. Oh, absolutely. I mean, he's a real foil to him, as DeSantis is. And uh, between the two of them, uh, the governor has two big players on the national scene to attack. While the first to be indicted, Trump is not the only former president that's found himself in legal hot water. Presidents who came close to criminal charges include Richard Nixon, who resigned in the wake of the Watergate scandal and was pardoned by President Ford before he could be indicted. Bill Clinton admitted to giving false statements about an affair with intern Monica Lewinsky and struck a deal to avoid prosecution for perjury. And Warren Harding died in office and was never charged in several scandals, including bribery and his own hush money scandals. So just exactly what those charges are, we don't know because the indictment is sealed. We will find out on Tuesday and Trump is expected to be in court then as well.